may be little, but they're helping soldiers create big smiles overseas. Thousands of Beanie Babies have begun making their way from Fort Wayne to Iraq. News Channel 15's Janice Allen is here to explain why. Well, it's called Operation Beanie Baby, and it involves sending little guys just like these to the troops overseas. Now, their mission is to brighten the spirits of those soldiers and also bring a smile to the children they meet along the way. We had no idea that we were going to get so many. Thousands and thousands of Beanie Babies in all sizes, types, and colors. Eat soon to begin a journey that will end thousands of miles away in the hands of a U.S. soldier or a rocky child. We wanted to do something to give back. The mountain of stuffed animals began growing back in September. That's when Judy Shepard began thinking about what she could send her son, who's currently serving his second tour of duty in Iraq. He says, we want to give the kids something to give them something when they run up to us. So Easter Seals Ark, where Judy works, put out the call for Beanie Babies, toys small enough to fit in a soldier's pocket or helmet and big enough to bridge the gap between two cultures. Before we knew it, it just escalated into something that we could have never have imagined, and that sort of started Operation Beanie Baby. So far, 35 boxes of these little guys have been sent to Iraq, and there's still enough for another 50 boxes that still need to go out. The small animals have been a hit so far, and not just with the kids. When they started opening them up, he said the morale was just so great for the, for the folks that they sorted through them. They were laughing. From Fort Wayne all the way to Iraq, these Beanie Babies will soon be sent a world away to make a world of difference. And Easter Seals Ark is no longer collecting Beanie Babies, but now they're hoping the community will help them with something else. The postage to send those boxes overseas is adding up. If you can donate anything to help, call Easter Seals Ark. And the organization's hoping to get all these little guys overseas by the beginning of December. Okay, thank you very much, Janice.